I got something fun, cool in the mail today, which is um, an album, a music music album, a uh, uh, from uh, the band Against the Current. They are a uh, sort of up and coming, but also just already sort of established band uh, that started here on YouTube. And the irony is that I don't have a CD player, so uh, I don't have a car too. I think most people who still have a CD player probably have a car uh, with a CD player in it, but uh, I am visually impaired and can't drive, so I don't know. Maybe I'll buy a car just to get a CD player and just to say that I hadn't. <laughs> I've been following them for, for many years, since like I was in high school too. And their story just started, like they, they were doing covers. Like some of these covers got hundreds of thousand, no, hundreds of millions of views. Like that is crazy. And it, it's cool to see people around your age like doing amazing things, succeeding. Uh, the thing is they, they, they still do some YouTube covers every now and again, but like this is their sophomore album. Like this, they, like they, they're signed with Fuel by Ramen, which is with Atlantic Records, which is kind of like big, you know, like it's a band I follow because they have such a cool story and I, I, um, I don't know, I kind of relate in a little bit. It's like, YouTube's great, it's an amazing platform to get out there, uh, but there's also things I want to do beyond that and, and understandably so, and things I am doing beyond YouTube. But it's still always a much more personal platform and a way to connect than, you know, other ways of content. Speaking of YouTube. <laughs> Watched analytics, analytics, last 28 days, heading. Watch time, minutes, 47,738, views, 20,463, subscriber change, minus 6,892, your estimated revenue. Yeah, so you heard that right. I, in the last 28 days, uh, specifically on September 18th at night, I, I lost like, 7,000 subscribers just about. So why did this happen? What did I upload? Uh, well, surprisingly my Let's Be Transparent video came out after this, so I had lost these subscribers before that. Okay, so I reached out to YouTube. I kind of got this sort of automated response, but it like answers half questions and then it gives me even more questions to ask. Hold on. Hi James, thanks for reaching out. I, since the 18th of September, you may be experiencing issues with subscriptions. This affects creators who may see a sudden drop in subscriber counts. This also impacts viewers who may be unsubscribed from channels. We're aware of this issue and working to resolve it. You can check back here, link, for updates on the progress of the fix. We appreciate your for updates on the progress of the fix. Someone to open up that link Safari just to... See what's happening. Heading since the 18th of September, you may be experiencing issues with subscriptions. This affects creators who may see a sudden drop in subscriber counts. This also impacts viewers who may be unsubscribed from channels. We're aware of this issue and working to resolve it. You can check back here for updates on the progress of the fix. Updated. 18, 32, UTC, the 24th of September 2018. This issue has been fixed. If you continue to experience it, let us know, Link. I guess this has been fixed, but last time I checked, I'm s still below 20k subscribers and before it was at 26,000. Ultimately, what does this mean? What this is telling me is basically I lost 7,000 subscribers because YouTube apparently had an issue where people may have been unsubscribed according to that support email. Now, they're not saying if this was like some purge of spam accounts or whatnot. Uh, what I think may, just a theory that may have happened is I was creator on the rise December 5th, I think, 2017. And so I was on the homepage and I got tons of like, my, my subscriber like ratio kept changing it would go down by 4,000 and up by like 8,000 down by 2,000 like it was crazy for like three weeks after the uh, being creator on the rise like it is a weird thing there's a lot of spam I think that hits the, the home page with that I think may have came a lot of inactive or uh, accounts that may have been spam but it is kind of bizarre to think that 7,000 of those were spam Maybe that is the case, and if you've been creator on the rise before, let me know if that has happened to you, if, if you just lost a bunch of subscribers on September 18th or 19th, uh, 2018. 
Just curious, uh, I'm not too down about the numbers though. So over the summer, I've been thinking about my position with YouTube, where do I stand with making content for you? this channel and, and what kind of content do I want to make and, and for a while I wanted to make more premium content and, and things that that didn't reference the platform that I was on um, and my stance has sort of changed on that because uh, there's a time and a place for that and I'm gonna have those opportunities to make that sort of more elevated content with, with crews with budgets but I kind of want to keep a personal dialogue kind of going on on this platform with with my audience, right? So you would think that seeing a drop in like six to 7,000 subscribers would be very discouraging, and I'm sure it would be for many people. For me, it was just more of a confusion. I was just like, that's really weird. Um, did not realize how many spam accounts or inactive accounts maybe. I don't know uh, exactly what's going on YouTube. I'm, I'd love to have a better answer than what you've given me and you've said on the support page that's been resolved, but you still haven't quite fixed or told me what's going on. I'm gonna reach back out. If I have an update for you guys, I will update you in a future video. It's only actually motivated me. I I, I'm, I feel I feel like I can gain that number back. And literally at the end of the day, that's just a number. It's it's different when there's engagement, when there's a comment down below, when, when there's a like. It's different when, like those numbers I feel like mean something a little bit more than just a view or a subscriber. Subscriber, it's great to have that number, but I'd rather have that engagement, like with, with seeing your comments, like, okay, I don't actually typically see them. My, my phone reads them to me, um, and you know, so I do, I do get to hear your comments. Uh, I don't always have time to respond to every single one, and I'm trying to make more time for that. So anyway, it, it's, it's, it's motivating to me because those, those, th that number can come back up. That number can, can increase. Um, that does not matter though. It, it's, it's about the people who are leaving comments down below. It's, it's hearing people's stories, hearing people's responses to, to what I'm saying. I just, I appreciate those who actually are engaging. I might not see that 7,000 subscribers back up anytime soon, but the thing is I am going to continuously make content every week. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about things that are going on and, and things that I want to share, but let me know if we can continue to have this dialogue. If you're not interested and you want to join the fray of the unsubscribed by youtube's purging <laughs> go for it uh, but if not hey come on aboard and i am uh, I'm happy to have this dialogue with you guys just let me know what you think like have you ever seen a huge increase in subscribers just drop like that from any creator yourself but i think we get too wrapped up in the numbers and i think we forget about the content and the people who are engaged and, and talking to us right uh and that's that's what i want to focus on so Let's, let's focus on more quantity of content, quality as well. I'm hoping this camera is better than the last I was shooting on and audio as well. I will hear you next time. Thank you.